Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be reviewing and applying these Kiss Press On Nails. These are the special design glow in the dark nails for Halloween. Um, these are the ones I picked up right here. They were in the length long. I did find these um, at Walmart, but I did order these online before they came into Walmart stores. So I will be doing a review and showing you how to apply these to last two plus weeks. So I am going to be starting the video with unboxing them. Um, like I said, these are the KISS Special Design Glow in the Dark Nails. Um, they do have a couple different styles of nails. And of course they do come with glue. And this is the pink gel glue. And they also come with um, the nail file and the nail tool, pretty much like in every KISS um, press on nails. It also did have the directions in that little packet, and then it has all of the extra nails. Now we are going to jump right into um, nail sizing. So I'm going to be going through all of the nails and picking the sizes I need for my nails. So I'm going to start by just dumping them all out. And then I'm just going to start picking up nails and um, applying them, holding them to my real nail and seeing which fits where the best. Um, so like I said, there are a couple different patterns. Um, they did have this like burnt orange glittery nail there was one that is orange with the black it looks kind of like a scarecrow there's one with a pumpkin on it and then there's one with a bat on it and I just go through and pick what nail fits best and then the, each nail is numbered so I can quickly find the matching pair to it I do have a lot of different um, press on nail videos that you can go back and see on my channel. I will leave the link down below to my playlist for my press on nail reviews. Um, I'm not going to be doing a wear test today just because these are um, press on, Kiss press on nails I've already reviewed and done the wear test on. These ones are just the special edition Halloween ones. So here is what I have. I got my nails and, okay, so you can see they have the, um, they only had two nails in the, with the pumpkins. And I really, really wanted to use the pumpkins and they, these nails were too big for my finger. So I am going to ha show you guys how to um, file them down and get them down enough where they do fit my finger and I can use them just because I feel like that's kind of bad that they only had two nails in the same size. Um, usually, Kiss has multiple options. Um, if you don't have it for to fit your finger, there's like another option that will. And they also only had one bat nail, not even two, just one. And of course, it did not fit any of my fingers either. So I decided to go ahead and opt out on using that one and just stick to the pumpkins. So now I'm just going to go through and show you the steps I did to modify the nails to get them to um, fit. So actually, I usually never have any problems with Kiss nails not fitting me. Um, I've never had that issue. Usually I've always found ones to fit me and um, I was ready to glue them on. So these definitely were weird sizing. Um, a lot of them did not fit my nails. And that's, like I said, really strange because I've never had that issue before. So I'm not sure why it's different or what's going on with that. Um, but so I'm just going to be taking the file and filing around the bottom part of the nail. And you want to make sure you're staying going in that circular um, like motion to keep the nail to stay like circular or it's going to be kind of not fitted right so definitely make sure you're going when you're filing go in the circular motion and i check periodically quite often to make sure i'm not filing too much 
um, and that I only filed just enough to get it to fit. And I actually ended up filing quite a bit um, of nails. And I just wanted to show you guys up close that after I modified them, you definitely can't tell that I even did that. It did not damage the nail or the design on the nail at all. Maybe a little bit on the back, but like, that's not going to matter. That's what's going to be glued to your finger. So I actually did end up going in and filing pretty much every nail I applied just a little bit with the filer um, to get them to fit. They were all just a little bit big. Um, some of them were quite a bit big. But anyways, I'm going to be moving on to applying them. And the first step is to file my real nails. So I'm just going to be going in with that filer. Um, but I've decided to go ahead and switch and use one of the ones I have here with me at home just because it's bigger and easier to use. So I'm just going to be taking my file and I'm just going to be filing my um, around my nail and my nail bed. Um, I file my nail bed just to roughen up where I'm going to be applying the glue and applying the nail. This is going to help um, the nail last longer and just hold better, especially since these are longer nails. Longer nails definitely um, are harder to get to last longer just because they are longer and you're constantly hitting them off things. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm filing around the edges of my nail just to file it down a little bit so you can't see my real nail underneath the press on nail. Now we are ready to start gluing on the nails. And this is how my nails look. They look a little bit um, roughed up and I did go ahead and wash them with some hot water and no soap. And then I'm just going to be applying this pink gel glue. So I'm just going to be applying the nail glue. Um, it's kind of... You don't want to use too much and you definitely want to make sure your whole nail is covered so there is enough glue to hold and stick but if you use too much glue it is going to run out so there's kind of like a fine line in between the two so basically i'm just going to start applying um i kind of line it up with my nail um hold it in a spot i want and then stick it and just to make sure i have it where i want because um, with longer nails it can be hard you might end up with a crooked nail um, so I'm just going to hold it for um, anywhere between 15 seconds to 20 seconds, hold down on that nail and give it a chance for the glue to set and um, make sure it's not going to pop off early. So I'm just going to be doing that to all of my nails and I do start with my pinky nails and work my way all the way to my thumbnails last just because that is the easiest way to do it. I have found um, it's way faster. You don't have to glue on one hand and then struggle to try to glue on the rest of the nails. Um, it's just a lot faster and easier.
Like I said, I'm just going to be gluing on my thumbnails last, and then I will be back with the final look. So here is what my nails ended up looking like. I absolutely love them and I am so happy that they turned out looking like this. Um, they definitely look like fall and Halloween, a good mix of both. Um, this definitely was probably the longest it's ever took me to apply these Kiss Press on nails, but that's just because I did have to modify the nails, but you honestly can't tell. I'm super happy with them. And like and follow for more videos.